Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. Well, happy Pi Day to everybody, and uh, this is just a well, annual update on everything going on and well, plans for uh, the next year. Um, as uh, if anyone who's actually been watching these videos, uh, I've actually kept up with a, a video a month. Um, I've tried adding some updates in here and there, and uh, I plan to continue to do that uh, going forward, uh, as long as I, as long as I keep having ideas to do, uh, and uh, I'll just keep trying to make as much content as I can. Uh, hopefully it's decent. Um, and, uh, let's give a little update on, uh, the different projects, plants, again, primarily plants. I'm hoping to do more, maybe even some more aquarium-related videos this year. Um, maybe try to actually get into some actual projects and some experimentation on things. Uh, but, like with everything in life, it's primarily comes down to time and money. Uh, I do have a regular job, uh, so this is more of a hobby slash interest kind of a deal. Um, I'm nowhere near the ability of monetizing and being able to make money off of this channel yet. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Because, um, I mean, actually that would help because if it boosts the numbers... Eventually I can monetize, meaning I can actually put more money into projects, uh, and they're not just, you know, mundane plant-related things. Uh, but with that being said, uh, let's take a quick look on a few of the things that I have, and uh, there will actually be a few sneak peek for videos that actually haven't came out yet, <laughs> and a few I haven't edited yet either. Um, here we go. Okay, not that I've done much with this tank. But here is the, the pothos is growing pretty good in it. Uh, of course, I have plenty of duckweed and whatnot. The, my my mollies are uh, uh, hungry. It's about time to feed them. But I wanted to film first. So, it's just plants galore, of course, in here. I know, my tank's dirty. I don't really clean it. I probably should, but I do occasionally. Anyway, so that is the 75 gallon tank. Over here to the windowsill of plants. Uh, again, here's a sneak peek for something that uh, hasn't been uh, edited and put out yet, but it will be. Um, well, seed starter trays. Uh, again, I don't think that video has actually came out yet so uh good sneak peek uh this is actually an apple tree um i took a apple seed out of a fuji apple i bought at the store and uh well it grew and then another little one grew there too um these are my sequoias and some empty containers of ones that didn't make it and i cleaned out and some i haven't cleaned out um i do plan on actually doing some more with the sequoias uh but yes, I, I live in an apartment and I have giant sequoias growing on my windowsill. Um, so, and I do actually want to make a video about how to make these uh, containers. Uh, that'll be a, a, a future video. Uh, but yeah, windowsill of plants and room for more. Alright, here is my 10 gallon tank. Um, I actually did a water change not that long ago. And it cleared up and then it got green again. Uh, so it's still a green swampy mess. Um, I don't know if it's visible in there yet or not. But I do still have the one fish. I just saw him this morning. Um, so uh, it is still alive and everything's working. Got some duckweed in there. Um, um, it's kind of a green swampy mess at the moment. Um... So I probably got to do another water change. Uh, I don't really like doing that because of I like to keep things a bit more natural. Um, I'm going to try first having the light shut off uh, for a few days. But I wanted to film it first today before I shut the light off. 
Um, I'll do that, see how that goes. But I'll give that a try first before I do a water change because I'm trying to keep a, a balanced nu nutrient uh, nutrient levels in the tank to, well, keep it running natural. Um, I haven't actually fed that one fish in a really long time. He, there's little critters and stuff in there and of course the algae and the duckweed and he eats on that. I occasionally put a little bit more duckweed in there, but so far it's been doing pretty good. It's just unsightly. It's not necessarily unhealthy. It's just unsightly. There's a few jokes that could be made there. But anyway, uh, let's go on to the terrarium. All right, and for the terrarium, I know it looks like it's a bit dead in there. Uh, but what I have done is the fig ivy had actually grown quite a bit. So I cut back a lot of it. And then I've got the uh, springtails and isopods in there. And uh, they are at work breaking everything down. And of course, the fig ivy's already decided to start growing a bit more wildly. As you can probably see, there's a, a bit growing up on the glass here as well. Um, I just have the one stalk of what I call Mexican hats. Um, the fern didn't make it. It's growing and it's spreading. The moss that was over here did not make it. Um, but so far so good. And, uh, I will hopefully be doing something more with, uh, this plant. And again, future video. And, uh, yeah, so... That is, that is the current state of my terrarium. Uh, sorry for the bad lighting all of a sudden. Uh, not that I've always had great lighting and camera skills and editing and whatnot. I am trying to get better at that. That's another plan for this year is to uh, try to do things a little better. Maybe get some lighting and some other things to make these videos a little bit more uh, professional. Um, but at least make them look a little better. Um, as far as the terrarium goes, um, unfortunately I, I've been battling some, uh, infestation of things. Um, apparently somehow slugs got in there and, uh, they really liked the, what I call the Mexican hat plant. Um, they don't seem to bother anything else. Um, so I've been trying to get those taken care of as best as I can. Uh, they've kind of dwindled the population. So, as a, another future video, um, I plan on making a separate little terrarium uh, just for the Mexican hats, and uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And hopefully nothing gets cross-contaminated there. Um, but yeah, so, some things are gonna be imp trying to improve the quality of projects and experiments. Some things are going to be trying to improve the videoing, the editing, um, the camera angles and whatnot. Um, I'm hope, hopefully at some point I'm going to get another camera so I can do multi-shot angles and things of that nature. Uh, again, lighting. I may try to do a better microphone, but my last experience with the microphone was not that great. Um, and honestly, I, I feel onboard audio is actually decent on this. Um, let me know if you don't think so. Uh, if you have any, you know, suggestions or comments or, you know, whether they're uh, positive or negative, I, you know, I will take into consideration. And, of course, on any video I have, uh, any comments that are made, I do try to respond. Um, may not respond with what you want to hear, but I may respond. Um, but anyway, so let's uh, go look at the outdoor plants, uh, patio plants, and... Uh, Try to get the angle a little better here. And uh, show you what's on there. Uh, now, there is a bit of an issue there uh, for any of the... I, th I think the Cleaning Up Dead Plants video has already made it out. Um, apartments are having a bit of an issue with my plants. Um, so, hopefully I get to keep them all. If not, um, obviously content's going to change a bit. Uh, but... You know, part of living in an apartment is you got to deal with people who, well, anyway. Um, 
But let's uh, show you what it looks like. Again, there's going to be a couple of sneak peeks on stuff that hasn't debuted yet. And uh, show you how everything's recovering from not only the, the cold we had and uh, the cleanup and the things that had died off and everything. And uh, show you here real quick. Alright, so these are the uh, butterfly weed seeds. Uh, this is the one that was actually grown indoors. These were actually done uh, in a video that hasn't came out yet. This is my wisteria. And I actually have some little tendrils growing here. And uh, it has not flowered yet. I don't expect it to anytime soon. Um, and then I just have an assortment of other plants. Anyone who's seen any of the videos knows. This was the, uh, this was the, uh, butterfly weed that I had bought at a somewhere and I'm thinking some of it's coming back sorry for the background noise but I am outside uh, and then I have just seeds I've put out and then this is the star jasmine that is doing pretty good as you can see here got new growth some potentially some flowers that are going to come up before too long it's doing pretty good new growth in various places Again, more just things. Uh, that's actually the honeysuckle. Let's see if I can find a piece of it. I've actually got it's growing. Uh, see, that's a bit of the honeysuckle there. This is the Carolina jasmine, which is over here. And then I again just have more, more seeds that I've put out. This is the tower. This was a piece of star jasmine that I put in. It didn't make it, but something's using it to trellis. This is some of the honeysuckle, and it's grown. This was literally just placed in the dirt, and uh, it's growing pretty well. Uh, got a couple little things I've put in. Some things made it, some things didn't. But uh, the star jasmine we're gonna get some we're gonna get some blooms here pretty soon and uh, it's doing pretty well new growth and uh, flowers and blooms and that's what it's all about but just as much greenery as I can and uh, all right let's uh, get to the rest of it all right and this is a thing I've mentioned a couple of times in the videos uh, I'm planning on trying to get some of this done this year. Uh, this is my bicycle, and that is a junk bicycle. Yes, they are exactly the same model. Well, they're different generation because the tires are different. So with those bicycles, um, I've made some changes to one of them. Um, I'm going to try to make some improvements, <laughs> make it easier for my... Uh, uh, <laughs> my my Y load to to ride them um and honestly that's going to maybe I may make a few videos as that may be another project I need to work on is myself um I don't know if anyone would actually be interested in uh me recording any sort of a weight loss journey and exercise routine and what little bit I can do um but if that's uh I'll post it I don't know. Um, I do have some other uh, videos uh, for anybody that would be interested. I have a update to my original computer build. Um, I tried putting one of those community posts out. I don't think anybody actually looked at it. Um, but I made some updates. It didn't really turn out that well. I haven't even edited it. It's I filmed it a while back. Uh, probably, probably close to six months to a year now. Um, I just never did anything with it because I'm personally not happy with the um, with the way the it turned out. There's not much I can cut out to make it look better. It's lighting and angle and, you know, but worse than normal. Um, so, but if the public speaks and would like it, what, what, what few followers I do have, um, let me know. I'll make a video. I'll finish up the testing that has to be done to show the comparison. Um, 
but yeah. So, uh, thank you for watching Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. And remember, be smart, stay safe, have fun. Why do you keep looking at my eyes?